Well, I'm very lucky to be joined by a mini air quality scientist, Andy Chisholm, along with her mum, Rebecca Gosling. Thanks for coming along. And also Deakin University's lead researcher for the Breathe Melbourne project, Dr. Kate Lysette. Doctor, first of all, what are you hoping to collate out of this project and how are you going to go about that? So we've got 300 children across Melbourne's inner west who'll be wearing these backpacks um, for a week. And what we're hoping to do is really understand what children in the community are being exposed to in the air. So the backpack is able to measure a number of pollutants. Um, we're particularly interested in particulate matter 2.5 and nitrogen dioxide, which we know comes from vehicle emissions, for instance. And we're really trying to understand the levels that we're exposed to so we can help drive policy change and behavioural change. Um, we know that these particular um, particles even though we can't see them, they can get deep into our lungs and can damage our health. So we really need to understand that so we can do something about it. And in the West, Rebecca, this is uh, one of the worst hotspots in terms of childhood asthma as well. As a mum, how important do you think this project is in really shining a light on this issue? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's what makes this project incredibly exciting as parents because it does highlight these issues that our children are exposed to on a daily basis and really breaks that down in terms of the routes that they take and the choices that they make in terms of exposure to it. So no, for us as parents, it's a very important project for the health of our children. Such an educational okay. experience as well for people like yourself, Andy. Just how do you feel about being a mini air quality scientist? I'm excited because um, we get to be involved in the project while like looking through the data um, of the backpacks. And so do you think that this might mean that it inspires you to be a scientist perhaps one day? It definitely helps me learn more about it and like it gives me an opportunity to become one if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Early days yet though isn't it Andy? Andy thanks and Rebecca and Kate. So there you go this Breathe Melbourne project it's at the second school now so uh, that data will be collected over four days as kids go to and from school and it's going to incorporate around 300 children and then Kate is going to crunch all of that data with the results hopefully available later in the year.